Hi. Now in this next part of the question, what we've got then is this rectangular hyperbola h with equation xy equals 9. And I've drawn a sketch graph here just to illustrate what's going on. And we've got the points p and q that lie on the curve h. And in the previous part of the question, we worked out the equations of the tangents at p and q. We found that at p it was x plus p squared y equals 6p and at q it was x plus q squared y equals 6q. And what we've got to do now is we're told that the tangent at the point p and the tangent at the point q intersect at this point r. And we've got to find a single fractions in their simplest form the coordinates of r in terms of p and q. So if you haven't done this already, would like to give this a go. Just pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, let's see how you got on if you tried this. So what we've got then is basically simultaneous equations to do to get r. So let's just put down those two equations of the tangent. So we've got the tangent at p is x plus p squared y equals 6p. And at q, the tangent is x plus q squared y equals 6q. And because we're doing simultaneous equations, let's number those two equations, 1 and 2. So there's many ways of solving these simultaneous equations. I'm going to go for elimination here. I'm going to just do equation 1, take away equation 2. But obviously it doesn't matter, you can choose whatever method you like, okay? But we've got one take away two here. x take away x, well that's zero. We've got p squared y minus q squared y, and I'm going to take out y as a common factor so that we get p squared minus q squared multiplied by the y, okay? And then, similarly, we're going to have 6p minus 6q, and I can pull out 6 as a common factor there, so I end up with 6 bracket p minus q. And I can rearrange this one for y, and we get that therefore y equals 6 times p minus q, all divided then by p squared minus q squared. Now, p squared minus q squared is the difference of two squares, so that factorizes further. So we've therefore got y equals on the top 6 times p minus q, but the bottom is the difference of two squares, so that factorizes to p plus q and multiplied by p minus q. And you can see that the two factors p minus q cancel one another out. So that leaves us with the y coordinate at r as 6 over p plus q. OK, so we've got that. All we need to do now is take this value of y, substitute it in either equation 1 or 2. I'm just going to go for equation 1, sub in 1. And what does that give us? Well, we've just got the x. So put therefore x plus p squared times y, so that's going to be 6p squared over p plus q, and that equals the 6p. OK, so we'll just come down here now, and what I'm going to do is we'll subtract this term from both sides. I could multiply throughout by p plus q at this stage, I suppose, but I'm just going to make x the subject straight away. x equals 6p then minus the 6p squared all over p plus q. Now I'm going to put it all over one common denominator. So that's going to be p plus q that down there. So I need to multiply the 6p with the p plus q. And then I've got minus 6p squared. And I can see that if I multiply the bracket out, I'm going to get 6p squared 
plus 6pq minus that 6p squared. So all I'm going to be left then with is 6pq. 6pq okay, over p plus q. So that's my x coordinates then for r. So we just need to summarize and we can say therefore r has coordinates. The x coordinate is going to be 6pq over p plus q. Whereas the y coordinate is going to be 6 over p plus q. So 6 over p plus q. Okay.